Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Problem of the Week. This week, uh, we're just finding the length of a pole pretty straightforward. Uh, we're given two factors. We're given the total Given the total length of the pole before it has snapped, and we're given how far away the pole fell. And uh, so we know that this total length, so this plus that is 5, because uh, there's no, uh, it didn't slip or anything. And we also, uh, we want to find out how far from the ground uh, the pole snapped. So since we're solving for that, we'll call this length x. And this is the hypotenuse, so it would be useful to know that. We'll call that c. And we also know that c and x make up the entire length of the pole. So we're putting uh, c plus x equals 5, or c equals 5 minus x. So now if, if we have a c in terms of x, x of course in terms of x, and some constant 3, uh, we're able to just use Pythagorean's theorem and solve right away. So here I have everything simplified. I've expanded out this 5 minus x whole squared. Um, and you notice we have x squared on both sides, which will cancel out. Um, so now we can just solve for x simply. Yep, so if I did all my algebra correctly, uh, x is going to be equal to 8 over 5. Um, of course, we, because we just subtract, add 10x to both sides and subtract 9 from both sides, and then divide by 10 and simplify. Um, so thank you for watching this is, uh, problem of the week. If you want more problems of the week or to subscribe to our YouTube channel, there are links to my side. Um, of course, you can check out our website with plenty of math resources uh, across a, a wide range of subjects. Uh, find those on our website here or somewhere. And uh, if you're on a mobile device, cards for all this can be found in the corner. Thank you for watching and have a good day.